Hey everyone, so we're home and after three and a half months worth of traveling through Asia, I thought it'd be a good chance to sort of explain to you guys the route we took, where we went city by city and then go from there. Uh, so we hit four countries. We started in Taiwan and then Philippines, Malaysia and then Thailand. I just want to sort of run you through where we actually went, how we did it, if maybe I'll change anything and maybe just go through sort of as I go through each place. Just a little sort of thought on it or maybe my experience on it or anything like that. If you guys do want a bit more info on the places you went, I have made videos pretty much along the whole way so make sure to go check them out. And then yeah, let's get into it. If you've been following along from the start, you'll know that we started in Taiwan. Uh, we actually started in Taipei. We stayed there for six nights and I love Taipei. I actually thought it was absolutely rad. We spent most of our time there exploring the night markets and walking through and getting to know some of the locals and just sort of absorbing into the culture. But after that, we went to Yulan, so we went down the east coast, maybe two hours, one hour on a bus, I'm pretty sure, off memory, I'm probably wrong, but off memory. Stayed in Yulan for four days, and I actually really liked Yulan, just not as much, but I liked it, and we saw Wang Long Pi Lake. We also took a day trip to Jufin, Jufin Old Street specifically, which was really cool. I really liked the architecture, the vibe of it was cool, the views were stunning. However, it was very touristy to the point where it was almost too much in terms of how the amount of tourists that were there. A little blemish on it, but outside pretty cool and I'd still recommend going. Next up, we hit Walim. It was really cool, we spent eight days there actually. It was a nice little beachy town. They had uh, Quissington Beach, which was really cool. It's like a pebble beach, really rough sea, so you can't swim there. Uh, probably the highlight of Taiwan for me anyway was Troco Gorge. We spent a whole day there, went through three tracks, I think. Some of them were closed when we were there, so it was a bit unfortunate. It was absolutely awesome, and I really recommend that. That was absolutely a highlight. Definitely the jewel of Taiwan, so much beauty there. It's absolutely rad. After Waleen, we went further down the east coast and went to Taidong. Spent a couple nights there. We wanted to go see the Eight Arch Dragon Bridge, but we just had some public transport issues and couldn't get there. We did go check out the forest park, which is small. We just did it in the afternoon. Hopped on some bikes and went for a ride around. And I really enjoyed that. It was really lucky. It was really nice. After Taidong, we actually went to Kenting. So I didn't make a video on Kenting. Right down the southern tip of Taiwan. It's a really beautiful beach town. Some really cool bars, really funky, some little stalls and markets and that. Pretty cool just to sort of check out. And then there's a the Kenting National Park there as well. After Kenting, we went up the west coast now. So on the west side, went to Kaishang. Really cool place actually. We went to a zoo there, which I didn't really like. <laughs> it was quite average to be honest. But the highlight was the lotus pond with the dragon and tiger pagodas. They were absolutely awesome. Really, really cool. Yeah, that was probably one of the top highlights of Taiwan as well. Next up, we went further up the west coast. We went to Taishan and we decided to do a bit of arty things there. We checked out the Rainbow Village, which was quite small. We only needed maybe an hour there. It was really cool, really impressive. Made a video on that if you want to go check that out. But it was a really cool city, actually. I, I do recommend going there. Taiwan in general, I recommend going. It wasn't an overwhelmingly negative place or time or instance that I had. After that, we decided to go to Sun Moon Lakes, which is almost smack bang center of Taiwan. Massive, it's the largest fresh body of water there and it's really beautiful. We hired some push bikes or bicycles and we cycled around uh, about half of it and then went back. It was really cool. We stayed two nights, that's probably enough. After Sun Moon Lake, we went back to Taishang because the buses there was just so much easier to get back to Taishang rather than moving forward. We stayed there for another four nights or five nights and we just relaxed there. We were pretty burnt out at this point. We checked out the night markets, we checked out all the scenes there. Cool, funky place, I'll be honest. To wrap up our Taiwan trip, we ended back in Taipei. Stayed there for maybe five more nights. But all up, I really loved Taiwan. I knew I was gonna like it anyway. It impressed me a lot more than what I sort of expected. I would really recommend it a lot. 
Uh, there's just so much natural beauty for outdoor lovers and stuff like that, and they're definitely put it on your radar. I'll have an absolute ball. So after Taipei, we flew to the Philippines. <music> So we started off our journey in Cebu. Uh, it's a good central location, almost the center of the Philippines. Very easy planes, you can get anywhere from there. We stayed there one night and then we went over to, we went to Coron. We spent six days there, did a few island tours, which were really cool. Uh, after Coron, we hit up El Nido. But we very much just relaxed. We met up with some backpackers and we just sort of relaxed. And then wrapping up Philippines, we're in Cebu for another three nights. So we're actually meant to go to Bohol for 10 days over Christmas and New Year's. But while we were there, Typhoon and Ursula come through and pretty much grounded everything. And yeah, on to Malaysia. So we landed straight in Kuala Lumpur. I'll just say off the bat, Malaysia overall was my favourite country, just personally. I really like the diversity. Lots to do, lots of touristy stuff, museums. I really liked checking out KLCC, the aquarium there. But I really, 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 really liked Malaysia. Or Kuala Lumpur specifically as well. But after that, we went north about an hour to Gombak, checked out Batu Caves. We went bar hopping back in Kuala Lumpur. We could hop on a train, it was really quite easy there. The public transport system's really good. Secret bars are really big in Malaysia and it was really cool. I'm a bartender by trade, uh, so I really enjoyed that. After that, we ended up going to my absolute favorite spot on the trip. We were meant to stay there for four days. Ended up staying for two weeks, which was Langkawi. Langkawi was absolutely phenomenal. I cannot recommend that enough. It's duty free, beaches are stunning. I've made a video on this, so I won't go over it too much, but I'll pretty much reiterate how much I loved it. It was, yeah, it was absolutely phenomenal. And then with that, about three months in, we hit Thailand and we started in Patong. We were there for six days. Uh, I enjoyed that. It was very touristy, which I can understand that. But I really liked Patong, just not so much. That just goes hand in hand. I like bars, I like bar hopping, I find it very interesting. So I'm very interested in that. She enjoyed it, but it wasn't necessarily her thing. The last stop we hit was Bangkok, and Bangkok absolutely surprised me. I loved it, it was so much fun. Everyone was so friendly, there was things to do, the nightlife was electric. And to top it off, I met up with Tom and Scotty, which you'll see in my Bangkok video. And we just had a lot of fun together. But yeah, overall, about three and a half months worth of travel. I hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, please like and subscribe. It really helps me a lot. And if you like the videos I'm doing, if you've got any suggestions on new videos, let me know in the comments. And then yeah, I'll see you in the next one.